Hey guys, uh, happy Memorial Day. I've got the uh, conclusion of my QAV250 build here. And I thought I would go over it real quick and share some of the things that I found out. I'll also talk about the equipment real fast, uh, just so you can see what I'm using. Uh, first of all, you can pick up this equipment from multicopterbuilders.com. Shout out to Richard Shelton over there. Uh, just drop the old snot lobber name and uh, he'll give you a good hookup. He's got awesome stock when you can't find things. Uh, give him a shout and uh, he's usually got those hard to find pieces. As well as great technical advice. Um, he really knows his stuff. Anyway, so uh, we got the QAV250 here and I think she clocks in around uh, 129 bucks. And I went with uh, Lumineer Motors. 2000 kV and these are just rebranded Tiger motors. I'm running Gem Fan 5x3s on here. Flight controller board is the Flip 1.5. I'm using uh, a Futaba radio so we've got a uh, Futaba Orange RX and this is uh, my first orange product and I just brought it over for one of my other quads. Um, it's kind of a rascal to get the thing bound to your uh, Futaba radio and they don't tell you this up front, but you actually have to put a load on the receiver, plug in a servo, and then do the bind process, and it'll bind properly. Um, flight camera. I'm using a uh, Pico, and this is a PAL version right here. It's uh, 49 bucks. Uh, we got the Mobius uh, for recording up top. Running a Pulse 1300 uh, LiPo. EC3s. Back here on my video system, I'm running a Mersion RC 600 milliwatt VTX with a set of the new uh, Immersion RC uh, Spironet antennas, V2s. Um, and I also have a little uh, an alarm here. I don't know if you can see this guy right here. Cool part about it is I have it set up on my uh, channel 6, so if it goes down and I'm not sure where it's at, I flip my toggle and uh, it allows me to. Uh, hopefully located and I've also added some LED action on the front and the rear uh, as well as underneath here and if you get yourself in some bushes or a tree uh, the LED and the uh, alarm help you know track it down so let's talk about the build pretty straightforward pretty easy uh, you have to go through their manual that's online and it goes together really quick um, I'm glad to see that they uh, kind of universally went to one size bolt. And these are all two millimeter heads, and they give you a, a little Allen wrench with it. But your two millimeter driver that you use for your helis will work out uh, just fine. You flip it over here, and the cool thing they do is they give you this little power distribution board, and you solder onto this, and it's actually labeled where you put your ESCs, and um, you feed everything right off of that. So you see, I've got my power line here with my ES, uh, EC3 going up here to my LiPo. Then I have my uh, LED lights tacked in here as well as my um, speed controllers. Now I, I did have to go back and buy different speed controllers because they have this thing set up uh, for a slender speed controller and I had some, uh, some fatties that didn't fit in here. And you're going to end up cutting the tips down to probably a half inch to solder them in here and get them fitting in here real well. I went with the Lumineer 12 amp NFET and it was explained to me that the NFET will allow this ship to run 4S, 3S, and 2S and it's basically just new software. Uh, also Simon K flashed. And the standard Lumineer uh, is only a 2 and 3S setup. So I, I will be running 3S for now and once I can find some 4S LiPos that fit this uh, dimension uh, I'll give that a shot. But as you can see, as far as center of gravity goes, uh, I got lucky. Well, I didn't get lucky. I planned it like this. And with uh, not having a tray that extends down, it makes it a challenge for you to separate your, your radio uh, receiver and your video transmitter. And I looked at a lot of guys' ships online where they had them touching. Or they'll have one right here and one right down here. And... You know, I've always learned and been told keep them as far apart as you can. So that's why I went with this setup where I've got you know the antennas uh, on the receiver, everything up here in the front, and then I've got my uh, you know video transmitter at the absolute back of the ship. But so far, so good. Um, it was a fun build. I think it looks mean as hell. It's 
looks like something uh, out of the Terminator movie. But uh, I should be ready for a uh, flight test and dial in here. Hopefully this afternoon. I got to build the new barbecue grill first. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you posted. And uh, thanks for watching. See you.